we're going to sneak some videos in on YouTube without Chris knowing. We're going to talk about throughout the videos I sneak in some of the upgrades that I've done on the outside of the trailer, how I have the water hooked up. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the Reese Goose Box 20,000 pound second gen hitch. Uh, we're going to talk about how it rides, how you hook it up, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and if I do it again. Every single day. Here's one of the reasons that I like our gooseneck, uh, our Reese gooseneck hitch is I use the Kurt OEM puck system for the Ford. And then that comes with the ball and uh, two safety chain anchors. And uh, I'll show you how, how that gets installed. And uh, it leaves the bed. When, when you unhook, you just pull them out, put them in the box. And your bed's empty and you don't have the fifth wheel hitch sitting there. All right, here's the plus for the Reese gooseneck hitch. This is all that's in the back of my truck for my fifth wheel. No fifth wheel hitch. Um, it's just a ball. And I have uh, three anchor points. The front two anchor po or the top two anchor points are the front two anchor points towards the tailgate. That's what I use for my safety chains. And then the third one back there with the D ring is where I hook up my. Uh, emergency brake system. All right, here's some of the pluses and cons that go with the Reese. Now you can see the goose box hooked up into the truck. There's still a lot of room in the bed. Right. See, it's not always easy getting in. Anyways, that's, I don't know any other way. I used to slide in through the tailgate, but this one's a little easier. All right, then all you do is you just take the safety chains up. And hook up the uh, emergency brake. And you're done. All right, one of the good things about uh, the Reese Gooseneck box is this little black bar right there, when it's in the hole, or when you can see it in the circle, uh, about halfway, it's uh, perfect for the shocks, the air in the shocks, and it's about 42 PSI, right around there. When you do the PSI, make sure that you have the weight on the bed of the truck, and um because if there's no weight on it and you put 42 psi in it and then you set it down uh it's going to be way too much air in it so one of the nice things about the reese goose box all right, this is what the goose box looks like all raised up um once i do have it hooked to the ball i do raise it up make sure that it is secure anybody wondering about the reese goose box hitch I highly recommend, especially if you're younger in your years. All right, so some of my pros for the Reese Goose Box is uh, does not take up any room in the bed of the truck. When you use the Kurt system with a ball and the, the anchor points on the puck system in the truck, really easy to put in, really easy to take out. Uh, the shocks and airing up the shocks in there, I have airbags in my truck. So once I get it level, um, it's got a smooth ride with uh, 42 PSI in the shocks of the hitch. All right, now for some of the cons. Some of the cons 
it's made for a younger a younger person it's a uh, getting in and out of the truck as you saw is not really easy i do know they make a, a step that hooks onto the side of your tire and uh that'll make it a little easier i haven't bought one yet and i've had the uh, trailer for a year so um All right, so once you're finally in the bed of the truck, hooking it up is pretty easy with the safety chains and the uh, emergency brake. Now that's the one difference between a fifth wheel and a uh, gooseneck is that you have to have safety chains on the gooseneck where you don't have them with a fifth wheel hitch. So would I buy the goose, the Reese goose box hitch again with the trailer? And the answer is if I was younger, yes. This age, probably do it again. As I get older, probably not. Um, I'll just have to figure out another fifth wheel hitch to put into it. It's uh, getting in and out as I get older. I can see another five years. It's not gonna be easy getting in and out of the, in, in and out of the bed of the truck. So for a younger person, two thumbs up. For middle age, my age, a little older, thumbs up. If you get up in the age, getting in and out of that bed's gonna be uh, not too easy. Hey everybody, if you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button. And ring the bell for notifications. Absolutely.